How do freelancers stay organized? If you're like me and the reason you chose this world of freelancing is because you wanted to work for yourself and you didn't want to be beholden to someone else's schedule and agenda. But I've got news for you. We're the ones that need schedule the most. And I was living that today because I, I woke up super early, 5 a.m., was getting all this other stuff done, but ended up not following my routine at all. And my goodness, I kind of like blew up the day. So in this video, I'm going to be describing how we here at Learn Grant Writing organize our week and our day. And it's a model that works great with Asana and we highly recommend. So I'm going to show you my way of doing it and Alex will show her way. And with that, we're going to hit it. All right, let's go. Hi, Julia Grace and other unicorns. Um, I wanted to break down um, how we do our everyday tasks in Asana. So I'm jumping into Asana. Here's how we do it at Learn Grant Writing. I'm going to show you two different ways. The first way is that we um, we organize our whole quarter in one giant project. So you can see that we've called it Weekly Sync Quarter 1 2021. This week we're in week six. So you'll see that Meredith has her whole weekly three. I have my weekly three and Katie Mount has her weekly three. Welcome Katie to the team. Okay. So um, if you look at my weekly three, which has turned into a bunch more, you can see that there's um, all of my tasks here. And then I will do subtasks underneath this. Um, I will go through and say like um, FB ads. If I want this done by Friday, I'll, go, I'm doing this and I'm doing it by Friday. Um, I also put this task in here to show you as an example. Um, so if this is one of my tasks and I put my name and I put my due date, I can go up to my tasks and see all of my tasks that I've assigned to myself. So um, this is the second way that you can organize your kind of virtual to-do list. Um, kind of forget what I said about how we do it. If these were all projects um, and you were linking your, your name to your due date, everything would show up here. And so um, you could just come in in the morning and say like, okay, these ones I'm late on. <laughs> these ones are the ones that are due today. This is due tomorrow. And these are due, um, you know, in the next couple of days. So that way you can go through and just have your full to-do list up here and check off things that, that you're doing. So it kind of depends on how you want to organize it. We have it in one place, which is that weekly sync, and we're putting everything there. But you can also, if you're just putting projects with their deadlines, just use the My Tasks up, up above, and then it'll give you your task list for every project that you're doing. I hope that helps. Bye. Hey. Hey there, Julia Grace asked a really good question. How do I organize in Asana my daily tasks in a way that's actually super usable to get you out of that paper journal? So I wanted to show, to show you what our sort of weekly sync looks like as a team, but you can do this just as an individual. So we have every week for every quarter, right? Um, and so we're in week six of this quarter, and then we each have our weekly three, which the specific three things we discussed during a like a sync on Mondays. But let's just drill into mine because Alex and I actually do organize our weekly activities then a little bit differently. And I think you'll find this useful to see what works best for you. So I still prioritize writing out what those three things are. I'm like, okay, I have financial responsibilities and then I have kind of got those all broken down. Um, these, so, you know, whatever, my three things. Um, then what I do personally is I like to then break out the day. So I've got, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So it's like, look at today. Um, let's see. So I still, same thing. I wrote out one, two, three, which were my priorities. And then anything else I did is just bonus. And then I've been trying to be better about tracking my time to make sure I really know how I'm doing it. So I will go and add the time. Like I just did this, um, scripting the funding strategy vision. What time is it? Um, 5.50. So I think I start. I think I started that at 5 p.m. So I'm going to do that here. So at least I can come back in here and see that I did it and mark it off. Um, and then I, you know, and that's, here's the deal. Like 
I'm probably, I'm not going to be prepping my skips for, scripts for YouTube videos. And frankly, I'm just going to delete the task and move it to, it's just, it's seriously happening next week or over the weekend because I just didn't get to it. But I'm not trashing myself because I did do the three things that I said I needed to do today. Um, and I will be finishing this last task uh, tonight over on my couch. <laughs> so I'll get that. Anyway, so that is how I tend to organize it. I'll give you one more day as an example. So let's take tomorrow. Tomorrow, you know, here are the three things that are prepped, finish a deck, um, have a phone call meeting, and then some loose ends. And loose ends are something I try to save for Thursdays and they all go here. So as you can see, I have 21 tasks in my loose ends and I just slowly, you know, work them out. Like I actually did that one. Um, it's sort of just a messy zone to go and park ideas. And I rarely get all the loose ends done in a week. So then I'll just drag it down to the next week and keep working on them. So that's fine. So that's one way to do it. I think Alex has it, does it differently. So again, we still declare the, the three things in the weekly sync, but then she just, um, puts them here, like separately where she just the things she wants to do. And she operates out of here. Like she's got her loose ends list, et cetera. Film video for Julia Grace. That's funny. I wonder if she's filming for you. Cause I'm filming one right now. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. And then, you know, like Katie Mount just joined the team as unicorn support. So she has her three things like certificates, community group, and then responding to emails on our behalf. And then Latrice VA, same thing. So she has inbox management. She's learning about how to do receipts for us. And then she's got someone that's helping us do um, make cool email signatures. So it's just it's the same thing. It's the same structure that works for every single person. And then you can start kind of scoping out through your weeks like, oh, yeah, I know what I'm going to be doing this week. And they're like loose concepts into the future, you know, but at least they have something there. Um, and then you fine tune it every week. So I like to do this Sunday night and then I like to do it the night before the next day, like honing in that next day of activities and legit, like this is the first thing I open in the morning and I don't, don't get into my inbox until 11 or noon. And I've been way better about that now that I have Latrice to hold me accountable so much. So I'm actually thinking I should delete it from my phone. So I'm really not tempted to look. But this is this has just been completely transformational and you could do this individually where you've got your weeks and your weekly three and that's just how it is. And it's just right there. And I think you'll love it. it. Just takes a little bit getting used to it. But once you do it, it's just amazing. OK, that's it. Um, the other last thing I was going to say <laughs> is that when you start to grow a team and you've got a little bit more people, we really like declaring our daily three to each other. So like, for example, here, we, we just do it. It's just first thing you do in the morning, one, two, three, boom. What are you focusing on? This also gives us a chance to do some like, hey, can you move things around? So like when you have grant writers working for you, like, hey, we got the certificate supplies mailed down to Katie. Can you bump that up on the priority list? Um, I think it should happen. So, yep, everyone agrees. And then then we keep moving down the list. So like here's the three things that we declared to each other to hold each other accountable and say that, you know, this is what we're working on while still being connected. So that's another thing that you can continue consider as well. Okay. Uh, that's it. Talk to you later.